A big thanks to microphoneforsinging.com for sponsoring this video. They offer the Sodial BM800 Condenser Microphone Kit, which includes the microphone, a shock mount, a pop filter, a desk mountable microphone stand, an XLR to 2.5 millimeter microphone cable, and a USB adapter so you can plug your mic directly into your computer. This is a great budget-friendly option for aspiring musicians, singers, songwriters, podcasters, or YouTube content creators. Check it out at microphoneforsinging.com. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and I've got another sort of off-the-cuff synthesis and sound design video for you today. In this video, I'll show you how I use the sidechain ducking effect that's most stereotypically used with bass and kick drum, and I'll show you how I like to use it as an ambient, growing, evolving effect on synthesizers with heavy reverb, delay, and other ambient effects. So instead of adding compression to a bass slide and then side chaining in the kick drum for a fast ducking effect, what I'm gonna do is put the side chain ducking effect on a reverb channel and allow that reverb channel to grow and be ducked down by the compressor via side chain. First, I've just got uh, the electric piano running through the chord trigger with some parallel minor chords. So what would make this even cooler is some nice ambience and give it sort of a nice ambient, sort of chill vibe to it. So what I'm gonna do is create an effect send. I'll go off to bus one. I'll just option click on this to set it to Unity and I'll add reverb to the aux channel. So this will be our reverb effects channel. Now for reverb, uh, for this sort of thing, I like to use really long tailed reverbs. Um, you can use Space Designer. My favorite for this sort of thing is the Valhalla Shimmer plugin. I'll pull the mix up to 100% and I'll play around at the controls and let you hear what this sounds like. So you get this really long reverb that seems to go on and on and on. Um, and as you pull up the feedback, it's gonna last longer and longer. The ambience on this is really cool, but the problem is that it's just out of control. The ambience is at full blast the whole time. So what you can do is you can put a compressor on your reverb channel after the reverb. So I'll throw the compressor on there. And then what I'll do is side chain in the dry signal of the chords. So I'll choose chords here. So what's happening is when the keys are being played, initially played, they're gonna duck down this compressor, creating that side chain ducking effect. And as the, the keys decay, the compressor is gonna let up a little and let more of that reverb through. So on each chord hit, there'll be less of that ambient effect and as the sound decays, there'll be more of the ambient effect. So it's sort of like cross blending the wet dry balance. So let's give this a shot. Now do realize that if you use this sort of an effect, you have to make sure that the dry signal coming from the main instrument does have a bit of a decay on it. Because if it's an instrument where you press the key down and it's full volume the whole time, then the side chain compression is just gonna be down at max the whole time, it's not gonna let up. What's letting up on the compression is the fact that the dry signal from the chords is decaying out, therefore triggering less and less compression through the side chain. Let's try something that's got even more of a decay on it, like acoustic piano. 
So I'll just go with the EXS24, go with the grand piano, Let's see what this sounds like. So because the piano has a more drastic decay to it than the electric piano does, I had to soften the sidechain compression effect. Let's try this with something else. I'm gonna keep the compressor there, but instead of Valhalla Shimmer this time, let me go with Space Designer. And I'll use a setting in here under large spaces, plates called Shimmering Plate. It's a really long plate sound with a bit of an echo to it. Um, let me turn off the compressor just so you can hear what it sounds like without the sidechain ducking effect. It's just sort of static. The reverb is there and it stays there. When you turn on the ducking effect, the sound and the ambience sort of grows a bit. Let's add the pitch shifter to the aux track. I'm gonna pull it up by a full octave, so 12 semitones. I'll turn the timing on pitch tracking. It's gonna be the smoothest sounding pitch shift. So here's another example where I redid the chords. I added the sculpture instrument for a brighter sort of bell-like sound. And for the reverb, I added the tremolo plugin to give it sort of like a 16th note uh, motion. It gives it a little bit of rhythm. The pitch shifter is still there, but what I did is I put reverb before the compressor and after the compressor. So I'm using Space Designer for both of these here. I just use the Dream Hall for the pre-compressor reverb, and then for the post-compressor reverb, I just used the stock setting. And that's really just to soften the effect a little bit because it, it can be a little bit jarring. It can sound sort of like a tape reverse effect without that post reverb. So for this synth, it becomes sort of like an ambience that shows up after you release the key. So it's a really cool ambient release effect. So you can try this out on anything, ambient guitar, strings, even voice. Here I've got the Voices of the Empire instrument from East West pulled up. Another cool trick is you can make the send pre-fader and then pull the channel volume all the way down. And what this does is it allows you to just hear the ambient signal without the dry signal at all. But because the side chain is actually pre-fader, you'll still hear the effect of the side chaining. So when you hold down the keys, you'll hear a subdued background effect. But as you release the key, the effect will fade in. So with this, you can create some really nightmarish ambient effects as well. So I could go on and on for hours just playing around with this effect, but I don't want to drag on the video too long, so I won't. 
So that's how you can use the sidechain compression ducking effect with ambient effects like reverb on an aux channel. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you'd like to support the channel with a monthly donation, check me out on Patreon as well. Thanks for the support and thanks for watching.